What's up everyone, it's Ray J back with another video. I want to give you guys a very, very quick update about what's happening with SPY and the overall markets. Let me first say that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say is financial advice. So for the way the market's moving, I mentioned in my morning video that the market would likely see some upside, but then we got this dump and then I made another video about how you know I was kind of like apprehensive about this. I told you if we lost 540, we would turn bearish on SPY, but if we held this, we'd be watching this range. And if anything, we actually got a big bounce instead and broke past this resistance. Uh, so I just want to admit that I was wrong in my second video. I'm willing to say that, um, you know, uh, I was thinking the market would be a little lackluster, but instead we got this big uh, buyout that ended up happening. And this dip over here ended up being a liquidity grab, which led to more upside. So on SPY, we're back above 544. Uh, my target from yesterday did end up coming. And we're going to be looking at 545 as resistance break this on spine we're going all the way up to 547 i think that's gonna be our next potential targets uh if we lose 544 we'll be looking at this previous resistance at this 543 area which is going to become our next support but now the chart's back to bullish the bears stepped in only to see the bulls step back and continue to push us so for now we are still favoring bulls and as long as we hold up a 544 we will favor that um for nvidia we got this big dump all the way down to this 115 area but we reclaimed 116 so now we're trying to get back up to our highs this trend is more bullish on the 30 minutes time frame and we are favoring a push for that 120 area again so nvidia is turning back up bitcoin is still kind of lackluster got this nice double top it's still very weak hasn't reclaimed the 60,000 mark so it's still kind of weak but we got to get back above 60,000 to try to bounce for Tesla, still a little bit lackluster. It did dump all the way down to about 200 only to get bought back up. We're still shuffling at 202. I want to see it reclaim 205 to really start bouncing. Otherwise, it's still a little bit lackluster. We're still down 2% while the market is getting bought back up. So it is getting bought back up just a little bit, but it's not really much. So I think it might shuffle. It could try, by the way, it could try to get closer to 205 again. But like I said, Tesla's not that strong today. Things could shift tomorrow. The QQQ dumped all the way down to 458. So we have got this target that was touched only to get bought back up. So we're looking at 464 as resistance. If that breaks, we'll be looking for basically 465 as resistance above that, then 468. And the key support to watch for is 462. Right now we're back to bullish as long as we're above 464. We favor upside. Apple's also bullish as long as we're above 222. We favor 225. So overall, we're looking pretty good. Uh, Coinbase got back, bought back up. We need to reclaim 198 to then 200 to really start bouncing. We're still attempting to hold above this trend line, so we'll give this some time. But overall, as long as we don't lose 192, we are favoring a little bit of a bounce. Uh, Amazon is just kind of consolidating. Uh, I want to see it break 172 to turn bullish. If we lose 168, we turn bearish. Otherwise, we're stuck in the middle between around 170. Meta dumped all the way down to about 525, but I said if we lose 525, we turn bearish. If we hold this, look for it to try to hold. Instead, we dipped all the way down to 525 and got a big V-shaped recovery. We're looking at resistance currently around uh, 534. It's right over here. If this breaks, we're going all the way back up to about 537. Our support's currently at 530, so watch and see if it holds, but we're doing a good job so far. Microsoft dumped only to bounce back up. If we break 417, look for 420 and look at 415 as support. Google's also kind of lackluster. Uh, we're looking at 162 as resistance. If we could get back above this, I'll be looking for 162.8 and supports at 160. I think it might try to rebound a bit with the market, but so far it's a little slow. So for the market, guys, I just want to say that, um, you know, not everyone could be right every single time. Uh, I was right yesterday about how the market was looking bullish, but in my intraday video, I did end up saying that things look kind of lackluster. So I'm sorry about that. Mistakes do happen sometimes, but right now I'm just going to say as long as we're above 544 on SPY, we are favoring the upside again, and the market's attempting to rebound. So just hold that view. Uh, know that the upside is once again back as the stronger view. And if we can break this 545 resistance, look for 547 is a very, very key target. All right. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, that's my updates. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'll be back in another couple of hours for another quick update. Thanks again, and peace out.